what's going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in to Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. It's the last day, baby, of the collection, part three. Today we do the niche and the designers behind me. This big old collection, the one that started off for me. We already done the clones. Now it's time to do the niche and the designer. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And you guys have been asking for it. Here it is. We're going to do it right now. But first, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for always showing the love. And if this is your first time checking out this channel and checking out your boy, come on in. Hit that like and subscribe. I promise you a place of positivity, of energy, of genuineness, and somebody who's always going to bring it 100% of the time and never mail it in, baby. Never. It's 2 in the morning. I'm still putting in the work. If you need a sample in a lot of these, you want to sample them, you haven't sampled them yet, you haven't tried them yet, you can go over to fatboyfragrance.com and get all your sampling decant needs taken care of. Right now, we got to buy two, get one free in, in honor of my birthday coming up. Can't wait to share with y'all. Stay tuned for the live streams uh, the next two days. I hope y'all enjoy them. Thursday and Friday, we'll be going live. Can't wait to spend that time with y'all. And of course, Saturday and Sunday, we should be going live too. So I can't wait to see you guys. I love doing the live with you. All right, let's do this. Right after we come after the break, we're going to get all up in it. You know how we do it, baby. No salad, no dessert, just straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. Up here we have uh, Blue, we have Ultime, we have Lone Vintage, we have uh, Blue Electrique, the uh, Vintage Loam, YSL Le Parfum, YSL Loam Electrique, then we have YSL Y per ADP, YSL Y, I mean YSL Loam, the uh, a newer formulation. Now we got some Navitus, Navitus Away, and Blaze, and Imperial. I said, I said to set the camera down so we can do these because there's a bunch of them right here, so we can stop. All right, so we have YSL, the Embrace. Pretty good one, I like. I mean, not YSL, Navitus. Sorry, YSL, Navitus, the Embrace. Navitus, Navus, really kind of like a really nice clone of, uh, of uh, Elysium. And then we have Serenade, Big Beard Serenade. We have... Big Beards, I'm um, not Big Beards. Yeah, it's Big Beard. No, that's um, Bowtie Fragrance, guys. Serenade. There's a Big Beard for Martin. Nice, fresh fragrance. Here's some old school Stevens Navitus's. Uh, Intimus, Lot Like. Um, date, Absolutio, Lot Like, Back Roots 540. All right, here's some more. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. I've been pronouncing it wrong. I think it's Abad or Aubaid, whatever it is. And then we have uh, Soas Classique, really popular in my store. Uh, we got Monica Kiosh's fragrances here. Carte Blanche, Elation. And then we have Exalt Nuit, Sole Martin. A good one from Chaos Fragrances. I like Chaos Fragrances a lot better than I like a lot of these Navitus's. All right, here comes two from CJ in the City. We have Champagne Royale and Cream Imperial. Really good fragrances. Really well done. And the, the gem of the bunch, of course, to me, is still these two. Ideola is really nice. Rose Fragrance and Reeve Nuit, the best one of all of them from Chaos Fragrances. All right, that's all the Navitus's. Now we're going to do the Spice Bombs. I got them right here on the same shelf, and we'll do them like this. Spice Bomb EDP Night Vision. Spice Bomb Extreme. The newest one, Spice Bomb Infrared. Let me set these down. Then we have two right here, more Spice Bomb Fresh. And Spice Bomb Regular Night Vision. Fresh is really good. Super underrated. I think it's harder to get now. It still can be found. 
Um, all right. Moving on to the next one, we have. Now these are from a, a, a company in Taiwan. A fragrance company is called Prod. I've talked about this a bunch. Dancing with a Stranger, really good fragrance. Saffron and vanilla. This one's been very popular in my store, so it's empty. Got a little bit left in there. Prod's Cherry Syrup. And Under the Rain, an underrated, no pun intended, great fragrance, man. Has a lime 7-up vibe to it, which I really like. All right. We're going to turn the camera around, and we're going to go start doing this whole wall. And we're going to have fun doing it. Let's do it. Okay, I want you guys to get a good look at that wall as we're about to go through all these. Niche and designer mixed together. We'll start off here at the top. Polo Green Cologne Intense. Tom Ford's Oud Wood, my favorite Tom Ford. Tom Ford's Norelli Portofino Forte. Tom Ford's Norelli Portofino. Costa Azora, this one is Mandrino del Mafi. Costa Azora Aqua. Then we got some Joe Malone Love right here. Oris and Sandalwood and Orange Blossom. Two really good fragrances, Blackberry Bay. And my only two imaginary authors I have, I really like, and that is Fallen in the Sea and St. Julep. Really good. As you can see, they're pretty low. More Tom Ford's down here. Soleil Blanc. Uh, extra bottle of Tom Ford Woo, Oud Wood. Then we have... Oh, no edits, baby. It'd be all right. They're not broken. I got to fix this shell. I knew it was going to do that. We ain't going to do no edits, baby. Keep on rolling. All right, so next we have some... Uh, you are someone like you from East uh, Attack Libre Orange, Tom Ford's Tom Finland. I mean, Attack Libre Orange is Tom Finland. One of my favorite fragrances to wear in the in the fall and winter. All oh, this thing is all oh, man and really nice. All right, Car Carner Barcelona's Fig Man about empty. Costa Azor, a new formulation from Tom Ford. The best, one of the most versatile fragrances in my collection. La Lique Ombre Noir, Mint and Tobacco. Then we got some Montal love here. Montal Tropical Wood, Oud Lime. And then we got two from Nikolai Parfums. Here we go. Fig Tea and Angus Pear. Two great fragrances to wear in the fall. Also, one that just fell off earlier. Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Kind of really coconut. Kind of suntan lotion vibe. Really nice fragrance. All right. Here we have Polo's uh, Red EDP. This is uh, a, a good size vial of a fragrance from The Gate called Musk, Ice Musk, I really like. Here's a female fragrance, Salt Water Breeze. Then we got YSL Tuxedo, YSL Vanal, Mimo Ocean Leather, one of my favorite ocean Le Mimo fragrances. The only one I own, actually. Then we have, of course, Mr. Smelly Dan Naughton's fragrances, Bon Bavia, and Gravitas for home. And then the big boys. Sole Bruno, Reeve de Ambre, and Plum Japonaise. Oh, these are two of my three of my favorite fragrances of Tom Ford. I'm glad I got big bottles of it. All right, Attack Libre Orange. Excuse our pronouncies. Hermana Coates, my favorite. This is a signature scent for me. I love this fragrance. It's amazing. It smells amazing. And it is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. Ah, the devil in the bottle, baby. Magnificent secretions. Ugh. And you got Fat Electrician, one of the best vetiver fragrances I have. One of the best cologne fragrances right there. Just cologne. Great for the spring and summer. Remarkable people. This one, I really haven't found my groove with it yet. Putin this, Putin, this, this Palaces. I'm still trying to figure this one out, even know how to pronounce it. All right. One of the most versatile, one of the best fragrances in my collection. Best buys, best smelling. Masoni's Wave. I have a full bottle of this somewhere. Then the most manly fragrance in my collection, Musk Ravageur from Frederick Mall. And we got the Beat Dazzle one, CH Man Under the Sea. Really cool bottle. Then we got some, just some decants. Here is Your Home Cologne 2013, Your Home uh, Cologne, I'm sorry, Your Home Sport. YSLY. Le Parfum, YSLY Live, and YSLY Fresh. All right, moving on to the next row. Aqua Gio Absolute, Aqua Gio, Parfumo, Killian's 
uh, Angel Share, Killian's Roses on Ice, really nice fragrance. Um, Prada Luna Ocean, my favorite pickups this year. Noted Caramel, just amazing. I should have cleaned these bottles up. All right, Stronger With You here now my lineup. With You, absolutely. With You Leather, my favorite Stronger With You. And this one is a nice summer fragrance, Stronger With You Freeze. All right, let's get into my MFKs. Here we go. Aqua, Aqua Celestia. I mean, Aqua Universidad. Um, gentle Fluidity. This one is Petit Matin and Aqua Celestia. Then we got the smaller ones here. As you can see, you can read them. Grand Soar, Aqua Vital, Cologne Forte, Aqua Universidad Cologne Forte, and Aqua Celestia. This is the best one of all these. This is the best one of uh, uh, my winter fragrances from them. All right, here's my Crees. I only own four of them. Now you know. Viking Cologne, Silver Mountain Water, Virgin Island Water, and, of course, Green Irish Tweed. Here are some more of my MFKs. You got Aqua Vital Forte, A La Rose, which is amazing. There's your back right, which 40, and there is Aqua Universidad Forte. Now, here are my Karen NYCs. I love these brands. You got... 10 a.m. Flirt, the best rose fragrance in my collection. And it's not close. Rose Inc. Then you got Sunday Brunch and Santal Sky. Another really underrated gem, the Cape from Abbott. Nice mint fragrance. And here is Jeremy Fragrance Unisex. I think that bottle's empty. All right. Let's go to the next row. We have Aqua Geo. Profundo Lights, Profundo, and Essenza. The real deal, baby. The real deal. Amazing fragrance. Sorry for the scratches on my hand. It's from my cat. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, the cat got me good. Uh, Pro All right, so next row, Prada Luna Rosa Black and the discontinued gem, Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. Here are my Bidic, Bidic, or BDK. So we have Chris Charnel, um, Cream, uh, the, the Cure, Rouge Smoking, and Citrus Riviera, which is still my favorite of all these. Citrus Riviera smells great. Here are some of my David Doff Cool Waters. We have Cool Water Le Parfum, absolutely amazing. And the OG, baby. You got to have the OG. Then you got uh, two from... Uh, Gallery of Parfums by the User Grove and Konya Cafe. Here are my two Rojas, Creation E and Elysium. Here's one from Lalique, another one, white and black. I just got in. Here's my first Aqua de Parma I ever bought. Alancia de Café, amazing. Just doesn't perform. Mark Jacobs Rain, does perform. Smells great for the summer. Here's a Navitus Viva More. Like a blend of Baccarat 40 and and um, a Venice. And then here is my only Chris Collins. God, this one good. Dance. Let me wipe that off for you guys. Dance Sauvage is amazing. Peppery, spicy, great. And down here we have some of my uh, it's, uh, initials. You got Oop for Greatness, Oop for Happiness, and uh, Rehab. And I have two more somewhere else. I don't remember where I put them. All right, so last row, then we'll do the bottom row. All right, so up here we have Burberry Rhythm, Burberry Brit, Burberry London, Givenchy Gentleman, Givenchy Gentleman Intense, uh, Lacoste Blanc, the Stephen Fragrance with from Red Book, Underground, I have two bottles of that. Fierce, pretty old formulation, not 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 vintage, but pretty old. Um, some more Aquaparmas, Bergamont, a Colonia Senza, and the newest one, and the best, my favorite one, Colonia Fortuda, is absolute gem of a fragrance. All right, so we got another Aqua de Parma, the one that everybody has in their collection, Fico de Amafi. Then we have a, a really underrated Bagari right here. Bagari's Wood Neroli, phenomenal. And then this one came out a couple years ago. I got a video on it. Glacial Essence, super fragrance to wear in the, in the in the summertime. All right, so I'm going to pause the camera. We'll do the bottom row, and then we'll move on to the other shelf. 
Bottom row, guys. Bottom row. Here we go. Boss bottled. Scent. I mean, boss is scent intense and regular. Absolute. United. Um, I can't remember what this one is. This is Absolute. This is United. This is Unlimited. And this is my only Laval, Laval, Ber uh, Bergamot 22. You know what these are. I shouldn't just really spend my time on them. Lucky, one million Parfum, one million Privé, Cologne, two smaller Privé, and two Luckies. Oh, and back here we actually have Psychedelic Love. Great review on that one I've done too. One of my favorite videos I've done. All right, so let's take a good look at the next wall. Wow. Amazing. Bunch of colors. It's beautiful. I love the way it just all shines and glistens. It's the most color and, and just, you know, really, really beautiful to look at. So let's get into this row. We're going to start from the bottom, work our way up. So here we go. Here's the next ones we got. We have Aqua, uh, Valentino Umo Aqua. We have three Playboys. I forgot I had these. Playboy London, Hollywood, and New York. Right there. And then back there we have, you can see in the corner back here, that is... Sorry for the strips hanging down. That is a uh, Valentino Umo Intense. One of the best Umo Intenses. I love that fragrance. All right, then we have Tommy Bahama Maritime Deep Blue. Tommy Bahama, the best Tommy Bahama still. St. Bars. And then I like this one right here. If I can get it out, I'll show it to you. Um, here we go. This one is Ta Maritime Triumph. Really digging this fragrance. I wish I had better performance. Love the bottle design of it. Speaking of bottle design... John Paul Goodyear Scandal, freaking amazing. Then you have my Do Dolce Gabbana the ones, uh, perfume. Um, the uh, Luminous Night, and of course the OG back here. And then you have back all the way back here. You have uh, Paco Rabanne's Infrared. And they kind of see back here as we go. I'm going to try to do this without making a mess. Versace Eros Mano Fresh. Classic fragrance. One of the oldest fragrances in my collection. This one is two. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Definitely performs better than the regular. And you got the one in Most Wanted. One in Tonic. And of course, Chrome. If you don't have a Zara Chrome, you don't have a collection. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Performs really good. Big disappointment, don't check out uh, Light Blue Forever. Then a bunch of Invictus. Onyx, Aqua, Regular, Victory. All right. Then we have Afghan Supremacy, very much like um, Inventus. Put that out of the way. Then we have Armani Code Perfumo, Armani Code Absolute, Gold, and Armani Code. EDP. All right, and one more at Venice. We have a Venice, of course. I mean, Invictus Intense. Mont Blanc, stay tuned. I got a new Mont Blanc coming in. Here's the newest one they have so far. There was the newest one. Uh, Legend EDP. Legend. Legend Spirit. And the discontinued, I think it's discontinued, individual big bottle of it. All right. Ferengamo. We have seven door Ferengamo. Um... Regular for home, intense leather, and then Fanangama Wood, super underrated fragrance. Man, I think it's underrated. And here's my other bottle. I told you the full bottle wave. There it is. There's another great fragrance, Masoni for home, Mont Blanc Explorer Blue. Not that very disappointing this year. And then we have, of course, the coaches I have Coach Platinum and Coach Blue. Really nice fragrances. I like these a lot. Then we got Mercedes. Benz Cologne Discontinued Gem. Oh, I love this fragrance. One of the best ones I ever bought. I got two or three bottles of these saved up. I'm so happy that I have a couple of those. Jaguar Uppermento Review. You can check it out. Pretty new review. I'm just trying to make room for all this stuff. All right. Then we have um, Custom Nationale. Love this fragrance. Smoky. Gorgeous. Uh, it's called Soul. Really like this fragrance a lot. Then we have Cyber Garden, a really neat smelling fragrance. And then, of course, Custom National Home. All right. Issy Mayaki, I'm not going to waste my time. Le, you can see what it is. I can't pronounce it. I say that. Le Bleu, they say out fresh. Really nice fragrance. 
This one is Kenzo Par. It's been ripped off. It's a great mint fragrance. Then we got Amber Oud Rouge from Arheem Blue and Gold. Voyage, and I had also had the regular boy, uh, EDP Voyage. Le Marvelez, Ace 24. And then the big boy back here. Sorry. Uh, Trey Fresh, really good. All right, we're going to pause the camera and come right back. Here we go. Here are my Ferraris. Neroli. Bergamot and figs. So you can pretty much know about those. Uh, coconut fizz, really great fra coconut fragrance. Nasamato Veranda, my favorite fragrance for the fall. Nice style. Man, this thing smells amazing. Dolce Gabbana Pineapple. City Rhythm Miami. Mancera Cedra Bose. Le Lion and City Rhythm. The Lion is one of those fragrances right here from Chanel that's. Just so crazy, so creative, and so strong. God, let me put this down. All right. We're going to look at the ones back here. These are my tigers and my Bagari Le Gems. You got, oh, you got a Ambro, Opalot, and of course the bad boy Tiger. You got Purple Oud from Dior. Then you have this discontinued gem, Givenchy's Gentleman. I mean, Givenchy, I can't remember what it is. Um, it slips my mind. It's a Givenchy fragrance. It's just continuing. It's a coffee note. Really nice. Uh, uh, I think a re uh, Rico gave me this. A guy named, a, a reviewer named Rico is the one I think that awarded me, gave me that fragrance. Pretty sure it was Rico. I hope that's right. All right. Savage Elixir. A little bit left there. And you can see my, um, my Laura Mahome. Blue de Chanel. Blue de Chanel Parfum. The regular Blue de Chanel. Platinum Mio Esque. Tabac, Royale X. We'll slide these over. Diesel, only the Brave. Bentley Silver Lake, great. Substitution for Essenza if you're a fan of Essenza. Parfums de Marley. Sealy, I got my stuff moved to a different bottle because it broke. Ralph's Club, um, Phantom, and Moschino Toy Boy. Go through, I'm not going to really point at them because it's going to be, when we get to the taller spots here. Byredo Space Rage, um, um, Terra Terenzi's Kirk, Nishane's 100 Silent Ways, Nishane Nanshi, Ani, Hasivat, not Havocat, Orion, Rehab from Nisha Parfums. These three all smell alike. Kumbia, my $500 bottle right here. Crazy how much this thing costs. Let me show you the bottle real quick. Look at this bottle right here. This bottle cost me about 500 bucks. It is crazy. And that was a tester bottle, by the way. The real deal is about 1500 bucks. There is Spirito, Spirito Florentino and Porpura, Blue Hole from Zerjoff, Neo, and Udin. Moving to the second row, we see uh, Just Box, Feeling Chill, Mancera Instant Crush. That is Mancera Sicily, Red Tobacco, Nishane Eggy, and B612 is the best. One of the best barbershop style fragrances you're going to get. Here are my four. Um, uh, bond number nines. You got Bleecker Street, Jones Beach, uh, Coney Island, and Little Italy. Then there are my other Zerzhoffs. You got uh, Mephisto, uh, Urba Puda, Naxos. Um, can't think of that one. And an extra bottle of Naxos. And that one just slips my mind right now. Can't think of the name of it. Let me pull it down. See if I can see what the name of it is. Because I've named everything so far. 40 Knots. 40 Knots. Really great fragrance. Love this fragrance in the summer and, and in the fall. Now back here we have Just Box. Behind that one right here. This is Just Box. Um, Micro Love. We have Valentino Womo, Yellow Dream. Oh, I about dropped it. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. Valentino Womo Dream belongs down here. I had it in the wrong aisle. Oh, there we go. I don't want to have an avalanche of fragrances falling. And then there's my two um, uh, uh, Louis Vuittons. Pretty great fragrances. All right, so I'm gonna pause the camera real quick. 
and give you a personal, give you a good look at what we looked at so far. I'm about to get on the stool <laughs> and we're going to work the rest of the way. I'm going to pull the other ones down so you can see them and we'll go from there and we'll wrap this up. And like this a little bit and get the top one so you guys enjoy. All right, so up here we have Dunhill Icon uh, Racing, the original one. Dunhill Icon Red. Um, Latina Lumka Lumka Home. I'm gonna put that up here out of the way. Azaro Wild Mint. Ginger Lover. Really two really well done for you. Ginger Lover is a lot like why I said alone. Ah, oh, really good. And then we'll do the uh, next two real quick. Racing Red, Racing Blue. Red is more for the fall winter. Blue is your one for the, um, uh, um, you know, summertime. Then you got Citrus. Um, Dunhill, London, it's a, I think it's called Citrus something, I can't remember what it's called, but this is a, a really nice little citrus fragrance, this don't last long. Uh, up here we have Dunhill Icon Gold, really familiar with, if you like a Venice, really, I like this one, a Venice kind of clone. Um, Boucheron Quatre, really underrated, really nice Fougere style fragrance. Back here, we got some old school one. Tommy, of course, you gotta have Tommy, right? Pick this up at, at a rack store. <laughs> Sport Aqua by Canon. Just a nice little worthy gym. Go, quick spray on, go. Then back here, we have two Demeters. If I can get them without dropping everything everywhere. Come on, come on. We're doing good so far. Pure Soap. If you just like a good smell of soap and coconut, man, I like to wear this and blend this with other fragrances. Oh, I love to blend this one. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next row. Before I do that, I'm going to pull these out from back here so you can see them. Here are three of her fragrances from... Let me put you over here out of the way. I'll get to you. Hold on, guys. I'm grabbing them. They're back here really good. And I'm not going to show the bottles for three of them. Ah, here we go. Um, Sydney Rock Pool from Aquies. My favorite coconut fragrance still, I think. Um, the Architects Club. Wow, what an underrated fragrance. And Aquies is La Trog Aqua. Two of the, my, favorites from, my favorites from that house, without a doubt. I don't know why I got them back up in here so good. Now, back in this corner, I'm not going to tell you what I get. they are, but it's basically Atier uh, Bergamot fragrance and two from um, Goldfield and Banks, um, Bohemian Lime, and Pacific Rot Moss, of course. All right. So I'm going to pause the camera, cover my back, and we'll slide my, my stool over, and we'll keep going. All right, these were kind of forgotten. Here comes some great freshies that are just beast mode. Aqua, Aqua Antique, and of course, Aqua Amara. And a lesser known house that's discontinued, but supposedly make a fragrance again. This is one of my favorite bergamot fragrances of all time. Commodities bergamot. Wow, is this well done. All right. See if I can go into the next row. Here's some Armaths. We'll kind of knock them out all in a row because I have four of them. All right, here we go. Armoth Milestone. Uh, Armoth Siage, which is, you know, uh, Silver Mount Water. Le Parfait. Y'all know about that one. Amazing fragrance. And, of course, Club Nuit Intense. I'm going to kind of just... 
try these over a little bit so I can reach what's behind there. All right, here we go. The next ones are um, Latafa. I can't pronounce this dude, my goon, whatever. It's an Adventist clone. It's really well done. This is a nice amber fragrance it was from Rosazi. I can't pronounce it. There it is, Magoon something. I don't know, but it's from Rosazi. It's a weird fragrance. It's kind of, I'm still trying to find my groove with it, but it's okay. Penguin Ice Cheapy. I've done a video on. Really nice little cheap fragrance for the summer. Nice cheapy to wear. The most underrated and my favorite summer fragrance of all time still is Jill Sanders Sun Fizz. Step to it. Nobody ever talks about it. See if you can find it. It's super hard to find. But man, this is a great fragrance. I need to put decant up for sale for that one. You know what? I'm going to take that down. I'm going to get some decants made for these so y'all can buy them. You've got to try this. This is one of the best summer fragrances you'll try this year. All right. Here's another cheapy. Clone of uh, Profumo GT. Not bad little fragrance for eight bucks. All right, one of my favorite Adventist clones. I like it better club in the weed intense. Advent from Latafa. All right, two CK ones. CK one, of course, the regular one, and CK one summer 2014 edition. I'm gonna have to step up probably to the last row here without killing myself. So hold on. All right. All right, so we had to get to the top here. So work with me here, okay, guys? It's going to be tough. So I'm going to get them down here and show them to you. I'm just going to edit this video and bring it down to the bottom. All right, so I decided to move down to the sit-down area and pull down the rest of the top corner over there. It's kind of difficult to work at an angle there. and it wouldn't drop anything. So back to review. All right, Hang 10. Coconut suntan lotion. Really nice fragrance. One of the most obscure fragrances in my collection with the doubt. Hang 10. Nishane's uh, Wulang Cha. Love this fragrance. Great fragrance. The original one from my original collection. I have another bottle somewhere. Michael Kors Blue Extreme, one of my wife's favorite fragrances, without a doubt. Michael Blue Kors Blue Extreme. Look how much I've wore this thing out. Not sold any of it. The best, one of the best fragrances in my collection. I'm glad I have another bottle. Of course, here's a good look at Pacific Rock Moss. I was able to get it down. Um, and then here's some uh, Bath and Body Works Marble. Fresh water, really, I like fresh water a lot. I think I'm gonna wear that tomorrow, I think. Um, clean Slate and Atlantic. This one reminds me a lot of Venus. I mean, of Invictus. Yep, really nice, man. Really, God, that smells really good. It's a great fragrance to put on go. You're gonna smell great. People are gonna sit compliment you. Great, cheap fragrance. Uh, one last one from our moth. I don't really wear it a lot, and that is Blue Home. This is the version of Aqua Geo. It's okay. Not one of my favorites. A really nice fragrance. Super underrated. Hugo Boss. Hugo Now. Hugo Boss. Nice fresh fragrance for the summer. Done a review on that one. 
the original bottle that my wife got me when I started Soul Journey. It's got a little bit left in there. And that is 360 Blue. God, this smells so good. Oh, just love this fragrance. This fragrance brings back so many great memories. 360 Blue. Of course, 360 Rage, you buy because you hear it from other people. You got to have this if you're going to have a collection, in my opinion. Um, History of the Parfums, not a blue, not another blue bottle 1.0, I think. Like this one, did not like the other one, I sold it. Um, just got this a couple weeks, a couple months ago. Club 75 VIP. I'm going to wait for the summer to review on this, but I really like this one. This one is from Jack West Bogat. Like this fragrance, like the bottle style, really cool looking. Uh, this one is from Razazi and it's called Al Wasam. This is Derver. I think this is a clone of Silver Mount Water. Let me make sure. Yep, Silver Mount Water. It's okay. Sea Odds to me now is better. And last but not least, if you don't got one of these, you, you're not a collector, man. I'm sorry. 4711. Just classic old school cologne, Neroli, and just you pour it out in your hand. I mean, I'm going to pour some on my hands. I'm going to put some on the skin and go to bed with it. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let me see. It smells good, man. It does. You know, over my journeys, this was not smell good when I first got it. But I actually appreciate it more now, a lot more. That's the great thing about a journey. You learn how to appreciate fragrances more. All right, so let's slide down. And we're going to do the next ones. Sorry about moving the camera a little bit. We're just going to move right here. And before I start on these right here, I'm going to get the ones that are in the bottom right here in my bargain bin, I like to call my cheaper ones. Let's do this one first. Don't have this. You don't have a collection. Nautica Voyage. Gotta have this in your collection. Just a classic, man. Oh, I love this fragrance. Uh, Halloween Man Shot Hero. Gonna get a lot of pub this summer. You watch. We're gonna be hyping this up. This thing's gonna be hyped through the roof. A couple of... Bath and uh, uh, Kendrick Spirits, Old Navy's brand. We got Marine Driftwood and Water and Sea Salt and Figs. Smells just like sea, herbs and sea salt from um, Joe Malone. 12 bucks for those little bottles. These are $12. And you can rock them easy. All right. Two of my oldest fragrances in my collection. I've talked about four Thallium and Thallium Black. Really great fragrances. Cheap. Another cheapie, I paid like eight bucks for this. Kenneth Cole Blue. Really, uh, a very similar to um, uh, uh, Versace Mano Fresh. Really nice fragrance from Kenneth Cole. Clean, uh, classic, clean for men. Just a nice fragrance. Gets the job done. Nothing really fancy, but a really nice fragrance. I know this one's been a while. My collection, Christian Nagore, Christian Nagore. This is this classic, old school, you know, 90s, I mean, early 2000s, middle 2000s vibe before they went off sweet with fragrances. Yeah, this is right before they turned to the sweet fragrances. This thing was the bomb. Kenneth Cole for him, classic fragrance, man. This is a great fragrance. Got a review on this one, very similar to, I can't remember what it was. Uh, what was this similar to? I can't remember. I think it, oh yeah, it was similar to Reflection Man. Really nice African mix, really well done. Like this fragrance from Latafa. Or our moth, our moth. Latafa Wood Intense, one of the best wood fragrances, woody fragrances you'll find. And man, this thing lasts forever. Wood Intense, Latafa. Shout out to Joy Cannoli, guest 1981. Joey turned me on this one. Coconut Dream. Amazing coconut fragrance. You get the vibe of Versace Arrows. Guest 1981 Los Angeles. Really well done. Indigo in Los Angeles. Two great fragrances. You gotta have these in your collection. You are old school and old school reviewers. You watch them. They always hype this bad boy up. And I got a little bit left in there. This is $8. This is about as close as you're gonna get to Silver Mount where we're out buying it. And that is Aha Reams Silver. Oh, man, this thing is so close. Yep, it's really well done. I think the oils are better. I also have the oil roll-on, which lasts super long. This thing lasts... A, a <laughs> These two together, uh, whoops, Creed any day. 
This was the Creed Killer, in my opinion, but nobody just hyped it up enough. They hyped it, but they didn't hype it up enough. Eight dollars for them, for both of them. Eight bucks. Rosa Sloan, pretty popular in my store. People like it. Nice little Fruzier Barbershop style fragrance. Good gym scent, Azaro Sport. Very popular pair of right here, Mercedes Club. Black people say it smells like tuxedo. I don't get tuxedo. And the last ones are some super cheap fragrances that I got from Dollar Shave Club. And they are not unique. They smell like other things, but man, for 10 bucks for all these, I got a great deal. My wife got this in one year for my birthday. They were called the Blueprints. And I can't remember what they all smell like. But the blue ones are for winter, and, and the, and the frosted ones are, are, are warmer months. One of these smells exactly like Sauvage. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's 103. Let me see. Yep, that's Sauvage right there. Kind of a Sauvage vibe. <laughs> this one right here has got me compliments. I don't get it, but women love this one. Blueprint, Blueprint 103 from Dollar Shave Club. Yep, that's Sauvage. All right, I'm going to pause the camera and then we're going to pan through these right here and the, and the products and then we'll move on to the showcase place. You see my showcase fragrances. All right. All right, so here are my Superman, Superman and Fresh. I mean, uh, my, my Lamal, Superman and Fresh, Le Parfum, Lamal, Christmas Edition, um, Ultramal, Big Bottle, Onboard, Aviator. And those are all my Ultramal. So I'm going to slide the camera down some so you can see the next row. There it is. These are my um, products. Very proud of these products. Proud Water Splash. Ow, o, o, Product Loam O. Absolute. Oh, their bottle almost fell. Absolute. Discontinued. Great fragrance. Product Loam Intense. Discontinued. Great fragrance. Uh, Tommy Bahama Compass. Uh, we got a new one of this one for you guys, and you guys have been asking for it. Uh, Pasha Cartier Parfum, great Fougere. An extra bottle of Lamal, Issy Mayaki Pour Home. Uh, Prada Loam, the regular one. Prada Loam Absolute, my backup bottle. And this one right here, I never wear, but I have it just for you guys, and because everybody got to have this classic. And that is Moogler's Ice Man. Shout out to Terry Moogler, RIP. This one's a little rough. This is for the hippies, but your boy can't rock that one. All right, now it's time for the showcase. All right, this is like the showcase wall right here. I kind of keep some of my centerpieces when I'm, you know, I, I, I'll move it around once in a while, but we'll start in the back right up in here. I'm just going to point them out. There is my office collection, black tie, office, uh, date, unisex. There's some replicas there. Replica uh, by, the, uh, by the fireplace, jazz club. I'm sorry, jazz club. Um... Sailing day, flying, and at the barbers. Then you got this one right here, one of my favorite fragrances in the whole world. Robert Graham's Courage, just a phenomenal compliment getter. Then you have my other Nasamato, Nasamato Pardon. This is one from another uh, clone that I've been mixing up. A little cheapy here, a little underknown fragrance. Tonka from Kinshi. There's um, and then back here we have Barbados. We got John Barbados, Dark Rebel, Indigo, um, Artisan XX, Mark Jacobs Bang, Artisan Pure, and we also have I don't have it over here, but we, I have Artisan XX, uh, Mark Jacobs for him. And this one right here is a really neat one. Three different fragrances in one. Judith Lieber. There's three different types of fragrances in here. And you spray them. You combine them however you want to combine them. Really cool little thing there. I need to do a review on that one. Mugler Cologne. I also have Mugler Prior Malt. It's in it's in the table over there. I'm not going to get it now. But I have about four Mooglers. Really proud of that one. I also have another Mugler that I kind of missed somewhere. I don't know where it is. But I also own Amber Retumble. Oh, here it is. Here's my other Mugler. Can't pronounce that. Mugler's Ambre Retableau, whatever. Really nice amber fragrance. Like that one, too. All right, there's my Zaharoffs, my other ones. You know, you got your uh, 
Set Creator, Signature, Royale, Noir, Siren. Then here are my Bentley ones, Bentley Beyond Collection. It's really great fragrances. This one's an amazing, smells a lot like Jazz Club, and that is Cashmere. And then you have two more down here, Rosé and Royale. Here are some more Dior's. Uh, Dior Homo, really old formulation. This bad boy, about empty. Wore this a lot. Oops. Then you have Dior Home O oh, again, a newer, newer bottle. Then you have a really old formulation, 2012 form. Oh, oh, there went one. It's all right. It didn't break. It's okay. And you have a really old formulation of Dior Home Sport right here. I'll show you guys that no bottles were harmed in making this video. There it is. It's safe and sound. The cat fell off. I can pick it up when I get done. All right. So then we have Dolce & Gabbana. Um, velvet vetiver and velvet wood. All right. First instinct from Abercrombie Finch. Another bottle of Aquazio Profundo. Um, Molecule One. And then all the Aeroses are right here. Parfum, Flame, Regular, and EDP. And that is the collection. Let's back up and take a good final look at it. I'll give you each row so you can kind of see. Sorry for the wires, guys. I need to get these wires trimmed up and fixed. But you guys have asked for it. There it is. The full collection. Oh, poor Lamar ball. Fell, Lamar fell over. There we go. I'm going to pan back so you can see more of it without killing myself here. And that is the collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. These are my niche fragrances and my designers. Very proud of this collection. Super proud of it. And I enjoyed sharing my collection with you guys. Y'all stay safe and y'all stay well, baby. And like I always tell you, if you smell good and you feel good, then it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is out.